Hey everyone, it's JJ and Elliot from Wondershare Filmora here to empower your inner video creator. 2020 has been a crazy year, one that some would describe as a dumpster fire. But despite all the craziness, we did have some amazing moments with our team and all of you. So without further delay, welcome to Filmora's 2020 year end wrap up. Today, we are going to answer some of the questions that you submitted to us online and share some highlights from the year. Ready, JJ? Let's go! So Elliot, what has been your highlight for 2020? My highlight for this year is that we were able to hit 500,000 subscribers. This year really tested our creativity and it's been interesting trying to create content and film at home. Even with all those challenges, we were able to hit 500,000 subscribers and that's pretty awesome. What about you? I have to say the release of Filmora 10. So not only did Filmora celebrate its 10 year anniversary this year, we also released our latest update Filmora 10. This was a highly anticipated release because it had features that the community has been longing for for so long, including motion tracking, keyframing, among others. Yeah, Wondershare Filmora 10 release was epic, and it's been awesome seeing the videos you've all been creating with these features. Now let's get to answering some of your questions in an extra special You Ask, We Answer. So if you don't already know, You Ask, We Answer is a series where we answer the questions that you guys leave us in the comments section of our videos. It's been a while and I really miss the studio, but I'm super excited to have Elliot to help me answer some of the questions. Alright, so Elliot, let's answer the first question. SkyX Mass asks, Filmora, I'm stuck on Filmora version 8. The new X came out and I'm struggling to find out how to upgrade my software. Could you guys let me know? Thank you for the question. Here is how you can upgrade to Filmora 10. If you want to update to the latest version, you could go to the official Wondershare Filmora website and click the free download button to start the download and installation. Click up here to go to the official website or check the description. So this question comes from Rutvik. I finally started my YouTube channel, a step closer to my dreams. Oh, and Filmora made editing so easy for me. Oh my God, that's so awesome. Congratulations on starting your channel. Thank you so much for the kind feedback. Um, we hope that you continue to use Filmora uh, for your channel. And if you want to send us your video, let us know. Send it in the comments below. I want to see your channel. Let us know. Yay. Brian's Thailand says, I want to see Elliot with the same color hair as JJ. You know what, Brian's Thailand? I'm kind of curious to see what I would look like as well. I think it'll be something like this. So this question comes from FGA100. How do you make text blink? I mean, an animation where text toggles from visible to invisible every second or so. Okay, so text blink kind of like flicker effects. So if it is, I'll go ahead and show you how to do that in Filmora 10. You can make text flicker by adding a black or white sample color above the text and changing the duration to one second. Copy and paste the sample color across the timeline to create a flicker effect. You can extend the duration to have a longer flicker or even add sound effects to make the flicker effect more realistic. Play it back and voila! So hopefully that helped. Flicker effects in Filmora 10. Cloud Panda asks, when will there be more distortion effects added? Good question, Cloud Panda. We don't exactly know when there will be more distortion effects added to Filmora 10, but thanks for your interest. We are gonna share your suggestion with our team and hopefully there'll be more effects added in future updates. For those who didn't know, and if you're interested in the distortion effects, you can find them in the effects tab at the top in the filter folder and distortion. So the next question comes from Le Guerrant Distrande. I'm so sorry if I totally butchered that. Shout out to you though. Um, okay. Can you edit your footage before drag and drop? So I'm assuming drag and drop in the timeline. Because from the media section, it only it's only raw footage and I need to make adjustments first. Okay. So in Filmora 10, you can't edit your footage before you drag it into the timeline. However, you can pull portions of your clip into the timeline without having to pull the whole thing in there and cutting it. So let me show you how it's done. In the media library, click on the clip you want so it appears in the preview window. Drag the play slider in the preview to the start of the clip you want to pull and then click the mark in icon. Drag the play slider again to the end of the clip you want and then click the mark out icon. 
Then drag the clip from the preview window to your timeline. And there you go. You've added that portion of the clip without having to cut the entire clip in the timeline. Easy. Hopefully that's helpful. Sumil Chabra says, I realize there's so much to do with Filmora when I see your creative tutorials. Do add more of them. And about the most memorable moments of 2020, mine was when I got my first camera. These few ending months have not been that bad, which really makes this year memorable for me. And this year also teaches some of the greatest life lessons. Thanks, Emil, for that thoughtful comment, and I couldn't agree more. A lot of bad stuff happened this year, but 2020 also helped put a lot of things in perspective. When things are going good, we tend to take it for granted, but this year really forced us to appreciate what we have. I think you're gonna make a lot of great memories with that camera in years to come, Samil. So this question comes from Michael Jason. Please, can you guys add a feature where you can add overlays to fonts? All right, well, thank you for the suggestion, but in the meantime, check out this workaround. First, select the title in the title tab and then type in the text you want. Double check to make sure it's all correct since you can't change it after this step. Once the text is all good, take a snapshot of the title with nothing on the video track below it. Drag the snapshot you just took into the timeline and then add your overlay of choice to the snapshot. You can also add effects and filters to the snapshot. And there you go. Overlays to fonts. Lauren Meisel asks, how is zoom keyframing different than crop and zoom? How is changing keyframing opacity different from adding a transition? Hey Lawrence, this is a question a lot of people want to know, so thank you for asking it. To keep it simple, Keyframing has more than two main keyframes that you can set up, while Pan and Zoom only has the beginning and final frames that you can set up. This means that keyframing can give you more control with movement and opacity. So the next question comes from Dre Costing. Hey JJ, can we get some nice videos for creation on IG feeds and stories? Okay, so IG I'm assuming is Instagram. Um, so Instagram video tutorials, interesting. Uh, if that's something that you guys are interested in as well, let me know in the comment section below. I'll consider that in the future. However, what you can actually do right now is you can edit your videos in Filmora 10 uh, for social media, just making sure that when you start a project, you are using the correct aspect ratio. So for Instagram um, stories, for example, if you're gonna create a video for Instagram stories, making sure that your aspect ratio is in portrait mode, which is nine by 16. So give it a try and see how that goes and then let me know how it works out for you. So this next question comes from Teja's Gupta Music YT. Hello, uh, Q&A. How did JJ Elliot and you all meet each other for the first time? Oh, well, we all met at Wondershare working for the Filmora content team. We all work together on the same team. And if you watch our past videos, you'll be able to see other team members aside from me. Uh, Johnny and Elliot in the videos, including some past members like George and Matt. I miss them. A lot has changed over the years. Thank you to everyone who submitted your questions and for sharing your own highlights of the year. We also want to take this time to thank all of you in the Filmora community for your support throughout 2020. We look forward to seeing what 2021 has in store for our team and for all of you. So until next time, Happy New Year and... Keep creating!